Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you the best way to import your layers from Illustrator to After Effects. So you're probably used to saving Illustrator files with all your content uh, distributed in different layers and then saving the uh, Illustrator file, opening it in After Effects and then uh, you can see all your layers there. But I've got something way easier, way handier and way faster is the plugin called Overlord. Uh, I'm not being paid to say this, by the way. I just want to make that clear to everyone. It's uh, just a tool I found recently, and I really love it. I just wanted to show it to you guys because it, it tremendously increased my speed of my workflow. So um, just a quick example here. If I select this back shape here, just a solid, uh, purple solid, and I push this uh, button that says push selection to After Effects, then it's instantly here in After Effects right there as a shape layer. So no Illustrator files are necessary to import from me here. And uh, I have this group of these circles. I can import, import them as well. And they're all in their different layers. And that's because, um, because it's a group. So if I have this little button here, I'll go through these buttons first. This is the push selection to After Effects. So it'll just do the, that's what it says. It push it into After Effects. This it says pull selection from After Effects. And I can also go to After Effects and uh, click here to pull selection from Illustrator. So if I have these shapes, selected and I click this button, it's being pulled in here. And then I have these little buttons here and this button says split shape layers, uh, split shapes to layers. And what this means is that it's, when I have this group, uh, I can see that there are five uh, different elements in here. It will explode that into different layers. If I uncheck that, then it will be one group here in After Effects. Let's go back here, put it on again. Uh, this little button, uh, make sure that your um, uh, anchor point will be in the center of your shape. This button uh, can detect if, you're, if you have a rectangle of an uh, ellipse, so you can uh, use that if you want. I never use that. And um, this will layer your um, shapes at the comp center. So if I ungroup this and I'll go uh, check this on and I'll place it, in, place it in the middle of my comp and not at the location where it's used, uh, used to be in Illustrator. So to delete that, I want to check that off as well. Then I have this little button here, which is uh, just a quick and easy way to switch to After Effects. And here as well to switch to uh, Illustrator. So if you place these at the exact same uh, spot here, something like this, then you can easily click back and forth. All right. And then this one can import all your selected swatches into After Effects as well. So let's just select some swatches here and I'll push the button and then it's one shape layer with those colors in here, which you can use to you know, pick the colors from. It's, uh, it's a shape layer with, as, a, as a guide layer, so it won't show up when you're rendering your video or anything. So what's really handy about this, oh, and uh, last thing here, you can also push your guides to Illustrator. So if I have some, if I put some guides in here, oh, to After Effects, I mean, I'm sorry, then it will um, import those guides right into After Effects, great. So the cool thing about this is that, that you can just go into uh, Illustrator. You don't have to save a whole file and import it into After Effects. You can just go into individual elements like this meteorite here. Um, and I can push that if I uncheck this box. I push it here into After Effects and there it is, bam. And I can edit it if, when, however I want. So just double click this. I can change the color or anything. Um, one thing to know is that if this is now a group, so it's a group together of these different elements. And if I go into the group, we have the shadow is a separate layer. And this, these are all separate layers. So if I uh, check this box uh, button again, and I'll import all these different layers in here. But when I go in here and I, let's say, I group these ones, not this one, these little dots together as a group, like that, so now I have this um, this shape and these shapes separately. So if I now um, open that, then those will be one group as well because it, uh, Overlord only detects the upper the upper layer of, of grouping. So if you want those things to be uh, separate as well, you have to ungroup them in Illustrator first. And uh, this is a great way to import all your footage. I use it all the time. Let's go here, let's put it the big one, it's really fast. Zoom out a bit here, and there you go. Really easy stuff. And uh, another thing which you can do is, what is really great, if I just select or uh, draw this shape here. So I'm drawing a circle uh, like this. 
I'm going to uh, make it a Bezier path so I can edit it. And what if I wanted to change this um, uh, this circle into uh, a different shape? So I'm going to I want to place this here, and I want this to be a half circle. But it's really difficult to edit that in After Effects. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to uh, push this selection to Illustrator. So it's right there. And then I can I'm going to just delete this anchor point and then move these two together so now they are one uh, one shape and then I can and I can go back to uh, After Effects and then make sure you select this path here and then uh, you can pull the selection from Illustrator and then boom it's updated right here in After Effects so you can edit your uh, shapes in Illustrator which is a way easier tool to do that and what I can also do here if I just make a keyframe for this path like that and I'll um, just delete that right here. I'm going to open this one, this path, into Illustrator. And I'm going to make this uh, like this. And I'm going to back here. And then I'm going to pull it in again. And then I have it makes a new keyframe. So it can easily create animations like this, which is really useful for frame-by-frame -frame animations, maybe, if you want. So you can just edit it, edit something. Um, let's do it again here. Let's delete this again. I'm going to push it into After Illustrator again, and then get this one inside here. It's really ugly, I, I know, but you get the, you get the idea. Oops, I didn't select the path there. Select the path first, and then pull it in, and then we can create this 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 really ugly animation. But you get the point. It's a really powerful tool to use. So um, that is uh, the main uh, idea behind this plugin, Overlord. I recommend you use it for everything because it just makes your life a whole lot easier. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next tutorial on Camp Keyframe. Thanks, bye bye.